Good evening and welcome back once again. So if you watched the last match, we had a really good 4-0 win and now we're into another league match uh, against Fenerbahce. We've got the cup final, the match after as well. So some really interesting matches coming up, getting towards the end of the season. So let's jump into the starting eleven and see who we're playing. Okay, and this is who we're going in with today. In terms of our traditional starting eleven, without making any changes, um, it's almost bang on to what we normally play. The only difference is we've actually brought in Rainer and St. Maxman. There has been a couple of changes since the last match, um, but the main crux of the team is the same as usual there. So yeah, let's hope we can continue on from the last match where we had a really comfortable 4-0 win. Um, could have been more, but it wasn't one where we've wasted lots of opportunities. It was just a good match all around, really. Just threading, threading the eye between two Newcastle players there. Um, not the best of passes. And yeah, it's offside, even though I could have played on. Never mind. Oh, a nice ball to Brian Hill. Oh, tries it from the uh, acute angle. Probably not the right option, but just fancied it. And Bellingham wins it back well there. Oh, a nice little reverse ball through to Rainer. Did not see that uh, rebound coming. Maybe could have reacted better. Just run out of space there. Pine Hill oh, tries to lash one in, but the defender's right in the way. Oh, nice attempt at a header there. Again, I just... My hit rate for headers is not high. I tend to miss them. I don't know if it's the game or if it's me. I don't think I'm doing anything too wrong on them. But, um... This ball, I was just trying to clear it there, actually. Boy, nails in. And Liao, that's not who I was passing to. Oh, good save. I was trying to pass to Bellingham there. Um, nice save. Ah, well over there. So yeah, nearly halfway through this uh, first half, and okay, we've had a, f a few chances, but nothing on the scoreboard yet, and that's not a foul. That's not a foul. I had the ball, I almost tackled my own player, not theirs. Um... <clears throat> Nice ball to Liao. Oh, lovely little ball through to Bellingham. And what a lovely finish that is. That was a really, really well worked goal. I'm really happy with that one. That's a perfectly weighted ball. Nice first touch. Almost looked like it had run out of space and the keeper was going to get it. But managed to slide in and just chip it over the keeper. Lovely finish. We had one similar this season um, a long time ago. Um, that was almost exactly the same with that sliding sort of chip finish as well. Nice way to break the uh, break the duck though. Oh, he 
Isaac in here. Ah. Just couldn't take it quickly enough towards the goal, run out of space, and there was no one in the box. Um, I was trying to go for the spectacular top corner finish. Probably the only way I was going to score there, really. Um, Paul Rainer's back in here. Well, I was trying to turn back, but nope, she didn't react. Game is frustrating sometimes. It's such a great, it's honestly one of my all time favorite games, but it's still frustrating. Um, and some of it's just down to the limitation at the time. You know, you got to remember this is, I think it's a 2006 or 7 game. Um, Player there, freeing up Dest. Again, that's not who I was passing to. Oh, how did he miss? I just assumed that was gone in, but what a save that was from Pope. Wonderful save. And that's a shocking finish. That did feel like one of those scripted moments, though, where, like, no matter what you do, the ball just goes to their player and they all score in that situation. And in that case, they didn't. It's uh, refreshing to see that they put it wide. Um <clears throat> It's hard to say what it feels like when that happens, unless you've played the game, but you can just feel like it's, there's just nothing you can do. Um, ah, it's a poor pass, not the half point. We'll just jump back into the second half. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've just still got a bit of a sore throat. Straight at the keeper. Yeah, just going back to what I was touching on in, in the end of the first half there. The scripted moments, and I know it does happen in football games, but this one, going back to pair six, like I can, it doesn't happen all that often. You know, it's not like the whole game, but there's just certain parts of nearly every match where. All of a sudden, the the, op the opposite team, even if they've been having a really poor game, they'll just start stringing passes together like Barcelona in their prime. And whatever tackle you put in, the players just bounce off. Even if you put a good tackle in, the ball bounces to one of their players. Um, your keeper saves it, it bounces back to one of their players. It's just one of those things that you, you literally can't seem to do anything about it. Um, and that is frustrating. I guess there's got to be some of that built into a computer game at the end of the day. But... Um, it's, it's just a strange feeling because it, it's, it feels really obvious in this game. Um, maybe modern games hide it a little bit better, but they still, in essence, do the same thing. Oh, that's a shocking challenge. That should be in yellow. Quite clearly. That's going to be a penalty there. I thought I got a good tackle in there. Let me get a yellow. Oh dear. Actually, we're going to make some changes. Yes, yeah, so we're going to bring on Trippier for Dest, Joel Linton for Rainer, and St. Maximin for Isaac.
good tackle from Delic there. Liao, ah, oh, just wide. Such a tight angle, it's try to place it rather than power it. Often powering it doesn't work, and um, just goes straight to the keeper. And somehow I'll get the throw in there. Didn't think that was mine, but uh, I'll take it, certainly. Strange series of events there. Um, nice tackle there. Okay, we haven't seen much of him. Apart from his. Uh, Get a card. That's poor from Joel Linton. I wasn't 100% sure what I was trying there, really. Nice ball to Davies. Davies, oh my god, I mean that was a good shot, but the keeper has made an absolute howl of that one. It was well struck, but... Oh, he's not going to be happy with that one. Yeah, you get some strange goals in this game. That was uh, that was quite fun. Yeah. Oh, nice ball from St. Maxman. Just managed to get it through there. That's a foul, and that's a penalty. Yeah, took his legs out. And often they're not quite. They're not given. Um, I'm gonna get the out of this. They're not given unless the player actually tumbles properly over it. Bottom left, I'm sure all my penalties have been bottom left, I don't know why I go that way. Not much to see there really. <clears throat> but 3 three nils are a little bit more convincing. Um, even if it's taken a, a freak goal and a, a, a penalty to boost that score up, I think it would deserve it. Eventually get the tackle in from Claudio. Ooh, that could have been a goal there. Who are defending? Keeper might have had it covered, but um Not a lot of space here. Okay, nice ball through to St. Maximin. Not really anyone to pass to yet. Ah. And then it's just, just white shirts everywhere. <clears throat> Fine Hill just about keeps it there. Nice little reverse ball to be here. Not the best of balls. Oh, keep actually managed just to catch it that time. I thought I was going to sneak in the net. But that should be full time. Oh, unless we get it back here. <laughs> there it is. That should have been full time, but they've given it away. And that's 4 0. Yeah, with another uh, St. Maximum with the assist that time as well. 
Jockin defending. And then he missed it. And then he went right in the post. <clears throat> that will be full time now, surely. And it is. So another convincing win. Bit of a strange one. Um, free goal, penalty, defensive mix-ups. But a well-deserved 4-0 win. And looking at the ratings, Liao voted man of the match. Not surprised with the goals that he got. Bellingham, Davies and Gavardial got good ratings as well. Um, Gavardial actually made a few good tackles, so I'm not surprised. Rainer, yeah, he was pretty absent in the game. But that's it for this week. The next match is a massive match, the cup final against Sporting, so I do hope you join me for that one. Thank you for watching today. Would appreciate it if you liked the video, if you did enjoy it. Drop a comment down below to let me know what you thought, and think about subscribing to the channel if you want to watch further videos. But thank you very much, and hopefully I'll speak to you all soon.